This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. We got a Chinese commercial today, and this commercial is blatantly racist. It's a commercial for detergent or clothes whitener, something like that. It's not very important. Let's just take a look at it, and I'm going to say a few words about it. I also want to say a few words about the entertainment industry and SJWs who aren't going to complain about it, but they complain about me not liking characters like Rose Tico and things like that. All right, here we go. So there you have it. That thing is sitting there at over 1 million views right now. 1.1 million views. It looks kind of old to me. I don't know. I can't tell. It doesn't look super old. But could you guys imagine if that commercial aired in the States right now? you'd have people like throwing fits with these media sites like the Mary Sue who are super sensitive to what skin color, what gender, what race is in a movie. What skin color, what race, what gender is in a comic book. But then something like this comes out and they don't say anything. What they do is they defend Star Wars and movies like that against people like me because they say that I'm a white dude who doesn't want to see people of color in the movies. Women in the movies. But the problem is, they're taking away characters that have been there for 40 years and just replacing them for no good reason. They're just playing these games. So, my point is, where are they now? Also, what in the hell is China thinking with that? I have my theories. I've been in Asia for 15 years and part of me says they take racial issues differently than America does. For Americans it's a very heavy thing, it's a more sensitive thing, just all around, even for the right and the left. But the point is, sometimes China and Asia in general is like a little bit behind, like a decade or two behind in keeping up with racial tensions. Having said that, they are also, from my knowledge, treating black folk pretty bad over this virus going around. I saw a video that they're not letting black people in McDonald's, and they're having black people leave the country, things like that. So when you combine this commercial with how they're treating black people currently, well, that doesn't make them look so good. I was thinking, what if that was a Chinese guy that went in and a white guy that came out in America. Or in the reverse, a Chinese guy went in and a black guy came out in America. I don't know. I just have the feeling that there will be people saying things about it. This is a right-wing toxic commercial. It's terrible. Man babies and trolls made this commercial to troll people. But doesn't seem like there's too much of that going around. Now I haven't checked every single source, every single article, every single YouTube channel. I'm sure somebody is saying something about it, but I would bet that we don't see these same media sources that are social justice warriors call it out in the same way they just call out people like me and people who describe rightfully what's so bad with movies like Star Wars, or even things like Birds of Prey, or Charlie's Angels, or things like that. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about this down below. I gotta give someone a very big shout out right now. I gotta give a big shout out to C-Jam, the patrician, aka Bill Door, and he changed his name to a much longer one. His channel will be linked below. Appreciate the support on my live stream just the other day. 
And if you're not, smash that subscribe button, press it, click it, whatever you gotta do. Some people don't like to say smash it, so okay, it's all good. If you don't subscribe, then I guess I'll be sad, you probably won't care, and that's life. We're done. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.